<laughs> Howdy, partners. Corbs here with another Red Dead RP stream as uh, George Hughes, question mark, on Diablo RP, uh, where he's currently experiencing uh, amnesia after he was adrift at sea for about a month. And he washed up on the beach of Guama and he's, um, well, he doesn't really know what's up. And he's run into the, the members of this group that um, grow drugs and God knows what. We're going to go barefoot because it looks funny. Uh, how do I get back? So I had to, for anyone that may be wondering, why, well, last time I saw George, he was, um, he was on Guama. Well, you have to... You have to reload, like load back into the game uh, at the mainland or else, like if you if you start up the game and you load straight into Guama, the ocean and some other stuff doesn't spawn, which is, which was really odd. So um, just ignore that if you're, um, if you're following along. Uh, I think that one was doing the trick. Uh, yeah. Alright, so, yeah, he's back to... He'll be back to work tonight, but I... Heard that... The, uh, the commander maybe making an appearance tonight. So we'll see what happens. Hola. Maybe we'll find some of the people working here. That's if, that's if, um, that's if enough people are playing with, because last I looked, a lot of people are playing Pal World. I've been as well uh, in my downtime uh, today and yesterday and that. I've just been playing that with friends, which has been good to chill out. I'm trying to use the weekend as time to, to relax, ready for work again next week. Um, it's also been good because... Um, why does my mouse keep going over to my second monitor? The hell's going on? Stop it. Don't do that. Oh, I think we're good now. Damn computers. But I've, um... Been trying to use my free time on the weekends as well. I'm trying to get my... My new voiceover set up as best I can without spending too much money too quickly so i have found that my new microphone setup sounds best in the middle of the room away from walls and then i have it facing towards the computer side of the room um not that i think it will really make much difference but i put up the green screen just to help in case but i've done thinking ahead i did make my computer um, it's got lots of fans, but then they're all quiet. And then the sort of case I've got the computer, my computer, considering how big it is and how many fans it's got is very, very quiet. Like I can't hear it. So that's been thinking ahead for doing voice stuff. So I've got it where, like I've tested it where I'll just rec hit record and I'll check out what the mic's picking up. Now it doesn't pick up dead silence. Like there is like a very slight, you can hear stuff going on but it's extremely low and it's um not so it's it's not very intrusive so it's very easy for me to in in uh audio editing software like adobe audition which i'm using you can grab uh, a sound print of the noise you don't want in the final product capture that and then you can tell tell it to basically say okay this whole thing i've highlighted which is essentially the whole track 
I want you to remove those frequencies and it will do that to a pretty good degree. So I've done some testing and uh, where I do that and I do a bit of this and a bit of that with some effects loaded in and um, it generally sounds, I think, pretty good. Like my voice sounds pretty normal, nice and clear and strong, normalize it, all that jazz. So I think I've got it about as good as it can be. But this weekend I've been doing a lot of research on uh, soundproofing and sound acoustics and that. Uh, like I know I've still got a pop filter coming, but that's that'll that'll help with the plosives with my with my mouth. But what I really need is God, if I had the money and the ability to do so, but it's hard when you're renting somewhere. If I could just make a solid like sound booth, God, that'd be nice, but that is expensive and it's hard to do. And I need to be mindful that um, I need to. I need to be able to move out of here at some point. Hey, Tiger. So what I mean is, like, I want when I record my voice and when what I what I try to achieve with my voice on stream is I want it to sound uh, as if you were in the room next to me. I want it to sound. Hola. I want it to sound nice and clear. I don't want it because. Some people setups that you know it'll they will sound like they're coming through a radio. Um, they'll sound like it's hyper polished or whatever. But I want mine to just sound neutral. That's what I try to do. I don't want it to sound like it's had processing and shit done. So that then, hopefully, when I get some clients. They can take my recorder audio and then they can do what they want with it. If they want it to sound a certain way, they can. But if I've sent it to them and it's already edited to sound like um, like I'm a sports commentator or something, then like you can't with the file they receive, they can't they can't revert that. So I'm trying to think like that. I don't know if anyone's here. Hello? Hey, boss! I don't even know where their quarters are. Oh, wait, no, I do remember where their quarters are. Squeeze took me last time. I might have to, I might go do some drug harvesting. Hola. Hey, Hammer. How you going, mate? St I don't know where everyone lives. So I know the commander lives in the mansion. And Squiz lives down in the houses down here. So I don't know. Maybe I'll run into someone. If I can't find anyone, then I will have to do some... Um, I will go harvest some drugs. I think I remember... Where you take the drugs. I think it was like over here. Where they go store them. So I'll head back down to the dock. And on the way, I'll see if I can bump into someone. If not, it's all good. I'm good, man. Was just doing some more Pal World. Um, I just hit... On the Generosity server, I hit level... 20 something which is cool uh and then i'm just trying to i'm just trying to i'm trying to get the catch multiplier x, uh, bonus xp like i'm going back to catch you know the chickens and the sheep and all that to get the 10 
Because that all that XP really adds up. And then go do dungeons. So I'm just trying to do that to get some levels. And uh, go and then go and catch the uh, the bosses around the map when I'm around the, their level. But it's been fun. It's a very janky game. And it is uh, definitely borrowed a lot from other games. But it's a good excuse to just have fun with friends and people in the wider generals of your community, so that's nice. Also, Timbo Tim, thank you for the follow. Thanks, partner. I can definitely... I've seen a lot of different opinions on the game, and I can definitely see uh, the criticism is definitely due where it's is clearly ripping off a bunch of other games. I, t I totally get that. I can see that for sure. Like, I was laughing today about, you know, when you, when you go somewhere or you discover somewhere and the white text comes up with a nice little piano tune it's just that's that is literally the new zelda games there's they're not even trying to hide it and of course the pokemon one and the pokemon side is the most obvious hola howdy what do you mean wrong with you tiger like you're sick hola oh press g to open construction menu what Oh, you can do construction jobs? Okay, I'll keep that in mind. We'll head down to the dock. Because I think I still have access to my steamboat. Now, of course, canon canonically, the boat was destroyed. But let's, let's pretend that I'm using one of their steamboats for the drug job here. So that I can actually do stuff. Hey, Timbo Tim coming in with the raid. Thank you, partner. Timbo Tim, do you play Red Dead RP? Are you on the Diablo RP server? How'd you find me? What were you what were you playing this fine day? Look at this little lizard go. Green iguana. He's like, get away from me. Get out of my watch my personal space. Yes, son of a bitch. Sounds like some serious anxiety, Tiger. You got someone there with you? Maybe do some breathing exercises. Maybe have a shower or something. Drink some water. Focus on your breathing. Yo, we got Timbo Tim, Boo Boo Kitty. The primary. Lady Nye. Yo, what's good, everybody? On natural stain IP, but I found you just scrolling through Twitch. Oh, well, thank you very much. Thank you very much for choosing little old me for your raid this evening. Hola. Here on the, uh, it's currently 7pm on the east side of Australia. What the? Oh, I think I accidentally clicked out of the game. I was like, why did my character start? I thought a cutscene was about to start, but I'm like, how is that happening? Booba Kitty and Lady Nye, thanks for the follows. But uh, what, what was happening in your RP this evening? So to give people some context, I play as George Hughes primarily, 99% of the time. Uh, he was one of the first lawmen on this server when it started middle to late last year. And over the course of the time, over the course of the last X amount of months, he uh, got to sheriff, did a whole bunch of stuff, caught a bunch of crooks and whatnot. And then it got to the point where I was considering taking a big break or maybe stopping altogether. I just needed a break. It was Christmas time and all that. But so I had it, His uh, that arc ended where he got on a boat and he was heading up the East Coast to maybe go to New York or whatever, then catch a boat back to the United Kingdom where his family is. But then as a way of bringing him back in a funny way, I made it up that his boat crashed and he was adrift at sea for about a month, going from island to island, eating lots of coconuts, going a bit cuckoo. Then he washed up on the shores of Guam. And so now he's got amnesia. He is now the um, David Bean, the coconut captain. Uh, and we're just seeing where it goes. But he's kind of been forced to make drugs now <laughs> it's a little silly but we'll see where it goes nari's hammer 
chasing down someone for a pretty little bounty. But he's apparently really good at hide and seek. Finding... Oh, God. I've taken part in a few manhunts myself. And if you just... If you can't hear anything through the grapevine or find anyone that's seen it or hear it, heard anything, it's really hard to find them. Like, you, you might have a, an idea of everywhere that they frequent, but it's, it's hard. Like, if they're not even logged in, they're not even logged in at the same time when you play, that's already, like, good luck finding them if they're not even online. <laughs> it's funny, but, you know, do, you do what you can. You forgot to mention the time he held up a group of innocent men and I'm... <laughs> Poltergeist! Oh, dude. Nah, you, you boys were, were... Were very naughty that day. Where the hell do I call in the boats here? You got them boats. Oh, they are definitely logged in? Oh, well. You know, maybe you got a stake, do a bit of a stake out. Bit of patience. Damn it, Poltergeist, don't tell me that. Also, the games. Thank you for the 100 biddies. Very kind of you. Um, where the hell? I don't know where the spot is here to summon, to spawn in the boats. Uh, or is it? It might actually be on the dock. Oh, what was that? Was that the boat menu? Oh, I keep missing it. Oh, you farmer's goods. No. He might. He might go that cuckoo. The docks? Which which part of the dock? It's got to be along the edge here, right? Aha! Let's go. All right, now we can now we can go up to where they showed me that they where they grow flour. Definitely not drugs. And I can go gather some of that up, and I can bring it back, so that they don't uh, imprison me or shoot me. Because David Bean is the hardest working man on the drug farm. Let's go. Hey, Mrs. Phenom, how's your weekend been? Mrs. Phenom, I gotta tell you, the amount of, uh... And Mr. Phenom, hello? Hope you've had a good weekend. I was gonna hit you up for some Sea of Thieves, but... Pal World happened. But, uh, we'll have to... We'll definitely have to, um, organize a night where we'll try out the next season, Mr. Phenom. Um, also, oh my god, you have no idea. The amount of research I've done, and testing, and... And that I've done with my voiceover setup has been... The amount of that I've done this this weekend has been insane. But I think I've got it about as good as I can without buying more stuff. I've got the... I found it's best to have the microphone in the middle of the room, facing a certain direction, and... Um, and it only picks up a little bit of background noise, but that amount is... It's so minimal that it's very easy for me to remove that and then the final edited track still sounds nice and clean and that, like, I think. But I, oh God, I felt a bit, I felt a bit like a lot of imposter syndrome this weekend. Like I did my first audition as well for a public ad on one of those sites I've signed up on. I don't think I'm gonna hear anything back, but you know, it's all practice and getting into the groove. So I gave it a go. But just hearing other people's reels and their setups and that, it just made me feel so self-conscious. But I was like, no, I just got to keep doing it. I'm doing the best I can with what I've got. But we'll see what happens. Oh, you tried power, Miss Female. I don't know if it'll really be your cup of tea. And unfortunately, the Xbox players can't play with the players on Steam, I'm afraid. Or else we'd, we'd get you an invite to the generosity server. But there's no crossplay like that, I'm afraid. Oh, you done a lot of gardening? Nice. Oh, 
Oh, someone else's boat is here. I think this is where we pick the we get the flower. Howdy, Tay. How you going? Crow, I'm uh, doing uh, legitimate work. I promise. Yeah, I'm trying not to focus on any self self doubt in that. Do I have a lantern? I don't have a lantern? Oh, I thought I still had a lantern. I'm definitely not helping grow drugs. So there's a boat there, so does that mean... Surely that means there's another player here, right? Hello? 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 Can anybody hear me? This is the coconut captain. David Bean, reporting for duty. Well, I, but I hope the gardening went well, phenoms. Why did I... Last year, why did I put my lantern and my lasso in that? In the, um... In one of the bank vaults? I could have really used that now. Hello? Because if, if they were, if they were... How long does, like, a boat... How long till a boat despawns when you log off? Weeding and mowing done. No crop collection. <laughs> Hello? Did I just see someone up there? Hello, can anybody hear me? I don't know if there's anyone here. Oh, it's a snake! Get out of here! You damn land deal! What did I see out there? Was that a boar? Seeing shit. All right, let's uh, let's do some harvesting. Oh, because then within the next hour, the commander will hopefully be at um. Will hopefully be at the um. Oh, someone told me last week a button to press to skip this animation. But I can't remember what it is now. Oh, there's definitely room to go crazier, Tay. Definitely. Uh, yeah, with Red Dead Online, um, when you boot it up, you just, yeah, you go into the, um, the normal Red Dead Online servers. And you don't have to have a subscription or anything. But then if you want to do RP services, you got to do a bunch of extra stuff. It's not overly complicated, but it's not just click and play. Um, there's a button. Someone... Someone told me about a button you press. Like, when you've gathered it, you press... Something. You press something. Oh, we got some more. Oh, 
I missed that. I had my finger on the wrong button. Palazor X, thank you. Also, I, I think I pressed every button in that area of the keyboard except for that one. I am a silly billy. Yeah, I'm hoping some people, apart from the commander, come to Guama tonight. Wink, wink. Do, 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 do. But I'm trying to think ahead. I'm like, what, what could, what could possibly happen that makes George Hughes remember everything? Should it just be like, just get, have a feel for it? Like, X amount of time has to pass for him to remember, and then it just happens? Or does someone have to say a certain thing? Or does a certain event have to happen? I just don't know. Just sort of seeing how it goes. Now I know how my pals feel in Palmon. That is definitely an option because I remember I gave my badge to Jack Harkness. They could definitely stir something up, at the very least. Yeah, maybe just, like, bits and pieces. But I'm totally open to... people like, what the fuck? Why is that not working? Is my 5 key broken? Oh, I... Oh. Okay. That was weird. I'm totally open to... Your pockets are full. Oh, shit. How many? 38. Oh, I only grabbed 38. I don't know if I have anywhere to store it here. I think I've got to cart it back on the boat. And then i got to come back. I don't know where I can store stuff. Maybe there's a box here. There's no general stores on the island, Tay. So I've got to keep... I've got to keep myself stocked up. Because I, I... I can't have Hughes just randomly go back to the, um... To the mainland just to grab burgers or something. And it makes sense for the story. See, Squiz was... Squiz and I think Tala. Oh, hold on. Oh, I don't know the pen. I don't know the pin code. Or the lock combination, I should say. Oh, what's down here? Oh. Well, I might just have to card it back. Bit by bit. Uh, or does the, can you, is there storage in the boat? Surely there's cargo hold in the boat. Let's find out. Steamboat. Oh, is it? Ugh. Is there cargo? I don't think there is. Bruh. Alright. Back we go.
now. Oh dear. Hmm. Rocking back and forth. Do, do, do. Cinematic. Oh, it's kind of relaxing. I can't even remember the Guama Tahiti part of the um of the story mode. I can't remember what happens there. Like, there's a bit where they go there for some reason. I can't remember. I can't remember why they go there. Ugh. Where is the stable? Now, let's see if I can remember where you drop off the drugs. Or the plants at this point. I think I remember. But why do they go there to, in the first place? So, I think... Was it there? Or was it... I think that we, like, ran off into the, the jungle of it, like, at an angle? Oh. 
Om nom 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 nom. You consumed water. You have become hydrated. Ooh. Okay. So I think we went over here and then I think we cut through the forest. I think. It's hard to remember because last time we went out this way, it was night time. I think around here is where Squiz Taylor crashed his horse. And Tala got hurt. Aha! Is there somewhere I can store it here? <gasps> Storage? Oh, it's got a combination as well oh no oh no all right let's okay i have one unless i get a combination or assistance from someone else in this organization i have one other idea of where I can store some stuff, at least for a little while. <laughs> yeah, let's just, we'll go one by one. We'll get it eventually. It'll be a hell of a stream. Ugh. <laughs> hey, witchy, how you going? How's your weekend been? Classic Hughes. I've still got my voice in the game on shout. <laughs> George Hughes isn't all about slapstick. Nah, -uh. don't know what you're talking about. Had a partner. Are you the stable master? Hola. Oh, it's inside. It is alright. Just getting through work. I spent I didn't stream as much this week because I've been getting my voiceover set up. Uh, my voiceover set up, set up. Blah, if that makes sense. Um, and just doing lots of research on it, testing, um, and just trying to get that underway. And I'm trying to get up, trying to get pages and stuff set up so I can start finding side work for that. And I think I've done as much as I can. So, but it's been good. So it's felt productive. Even though I'm definitely feeling some uh, imposter syndrome and whatnot. But, um. 
you know, it's going all right. We'll make a start. Um, so I might, I can buy a, a mule and I can just store loads of stuff in its, um, storage, right? Oh god, I don't know. Um... Oh, I know. I hope so, witchy, but I guess... Won't know unless I try. Oh, Missy died. <laughs> Missy died. <laughs> That's it. You got to be in it. I just, oh my God. Like there's other people. Oh, there's other people that um have like full on sound, sound. Like they've got full on sound boots in their home. And I, I can't do that because I rent. And it just makes me feel so inadequate. Alright, I think it's I think it's acting time. Hello? Howdy? You alright there, mister? Any, anything I can help you with? My name's David Bean. I'm the a new worker here on the farm. Hello? Can you hear me, mister? Sorry, mate. I had a frog in your throat. How you doing, mate? Oh, it's all right. No, it's like... That's all right, mate. Yeah, I remember you from last week. But I came to visit... Oh, were you one of the guards? Yeah, sort of. Oh, it's right. Well, fancy coat today. Oh, very nice. What's your name? My name's Frank Stockburn, mate. Oh, nice to meet you, Frank. My name's uh, Mr. Bean. Yeah, nice to meet you too, mate. I'm just... Uh, uh, do you work on the farm? Yeah, I do. I, sort of, I work on the farm. The farms. I was I just do. doing a load up the, uh, the flower field up the coast. Oh, yeah. And then uh, the problem is I don't have an official job here or nothing. So I don't have anywhere uh, to store it. Do you know what I could do, man? Let me uh, see if the command is in. Should I take my hat off inside? Uh, if you want. I just like to. Commander. Commander. I might have to, Witchy. I might have Hello, to. Senor. Just everything's so expensive. I don't think he's here yet. Oh, I haven't met him yet. Is he nice? Um. Yeah, he is nice. You could say. For the, if you're a uh, nice back. Uh, I went and bought a, a mule, so I figured at the very least I could temporarily store what I harvest in the bags up with my mule and then transfer them to someone's access to one of them storage lockers. Uh, um, I do have a code for that, but uh, I'm not sure whether to give it out to you or not yet. Nah, it's fair to get permission from the uh, yeah. what, the commander, is it? Yeah, I like to get, you know, the commander tells us who we, uh, who can do what. Alright. I'm yeah. just following what, uh, Mr. Taylor taught me last, last, the other day. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's have a look, shall we? Let me get me out and code. Uh, 
Uh, just see if I can find my my new mule. Mu mu you can jump on if you like. Oh, I better take old George out. Okay. That would be very nice, Witchy. If I could, I would, you know, make a makeshift um, booth and that, but. Like, I rent here, I can't make anything too permanent. Alright, um. Just talking about the field up north. Yeah, I had to take the boat up. Alright, um. So I think the command is gonna be here very soon. And the rest of the army. Oh, is there, there's actually an army? Yeah, the guy there. He's part of the army. Alright. Um, I'm part of the army. Oh! But, um... Yeah, that can be quite, uh... Hola. Quite... Let's just say, uh... Angry people. Oh. Well, they were a little pushy and shovey, but I, you know, I understand because I washed up on the beach. You know, they have every right to be suspicious. It's, it's their island. Yeah. <coughs> well, I'm uh, sort of new to the island as well. I'm from a place called America, mate. I heard oh, it's full of rats. Yeah, America is, but originally I'm from, uh, I say I'm from another place and then I moved to America. Oh, and why'd I'm you move? Living here. Oh, I used to do a lot of ranching back then and uh, sold my ranch. Moved down to a very hot place called uh, Armadillo. That's a funny name for a place. It is, very hot. Very humid, very dusty. Is there a lot of actual armadillas running around? You know what? I didn't even see one. Oh, then why is it called armadillo? I have no bloody idea, mate. That's a bit silly. It is, if you ask me. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, I just came over, to, you know, I saw an application to come over here. Now I'm out here just finding myself sort of a thing, mate. Oh, you tell me about it. I've... I can't remember. I washed, like I said, I washed up on the beach. I can't remember much. I just had a bit of paper in my pocket. I think my name's David Bean. Yes. And just, just trying to, you know, this place seems nice. And Mr. Taylor said if I work real hard, I could, uh, you know, become a citizen or something. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's a beautiful place. Like, just look around, look at the, uh, the views, you know. The water. Very green. It is. One might say too green, but you know, if <laughs> if green's your favorite color, then it'd be just the right amount. Yeah, exactly. That's what I like to hang around the beach. I've actually got myself a little camp up in the mountain. Oh, really? What's it what's like living up in the mountain? Uh, you want to have a look? Oh, I forgot time. Yeah, why not? Well, I think the command is going to be here soon, so we've got a bit of time. Okay. So if you are uh, Mr. Bean, yeah. if, uh, if you go hunting and you get some things here and you need to cook some food, you can use my camp. I can show you where it is. Oh, I appreciate that. I'm just, they've just given me a bed downstairs in the mansion. Oh, yeah. It's, it's not very comfortable, and there's still there's some blood on the floor. I just, you know, it. I guess it sort of completes the look, but I sometimes I want I'm gonna slip over when I'm walking out to the bathroom at night. Well, at least you get to live in the mansion, mate. Yeah, I guess. It's, I don't. I don't think there's any windows down there, or anything. It kind of smells a little funny. I think. <laughs> I think the pipes go by my room. Ah, you got the luxury suite. Yeah. Beautiful. If you're, if you're. Little dirty animal, I guess. It's it's a haven. Well, I can show you my uh, pipes, mate. They're uh, they're, by the, <laughs> they're by the trees, mate. <laughs> oh yes, yeah, I could be worse. I could still be out at sea, not have a roof on my head. So I'll true. count my blessings. That is true. Also, because those I saw you before, yeah, George has been through a. 
he's, he's had a bit of a rough time. Yeah, Mr. Wind is quite a bit of a hike. Yo, Pepe, how you doing, mate? That's fine. You know, it gives you something to do. That's right. I'll give you a bit of a tour, mate. Does anybody live in that castle? Uh, they did. I'm not sure yet. What happened to them? Um, the commander was fixing things up on the, on the uh, island. Oh. Into the jungle! I really like the song. It's not one of their hits, I think. So I never I never heard it until I listened, when I went and actually listened to their albums uh, in full. Uh, Creedence Clearwater Revival song, uh, Run Through the Jungle, I think it is. It's got that, it's like, it sounds so 60s rock. Real cool sound and song. I think it gets a bit overshadowed by a lot of their other stuff. I really like I really like the the atmosphere of the song, the vibe. It's all about the vibe, you know what I mean? Like, oh my god. My god, this is a bit of a trick. Hi, my, my mule just is having a bit of trouble keeping up. That's okay. Oh, wait. <laughs> I didn't even know the place looked like a camp slide. It's right here. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, welcome, mate. So if you, uh, you ever find yourself hungry and you can't find anyone, just kill one of the pigs, mate, and bring it in and cook it. Oh. Oh, that's very kind. Frank, was it? Yeah, mate, Frank. Oh, thank you, Frank. Uh, no, no. D uh, d uh, David's my first name. David Bean. Yeah, no, nice to meet you. Oh, just mate. Mr. Bean is nice and snappy. It's bit, it's pretty catchy. It is, Mr. Bean. I like it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. It's in my little, uh, my little house. Yeah, it's nice. What's the, uh, what's the posters on the, on the wall with the, with the, with the red? There are people that are wanted back on. Oh, right. Yeah. What's his name? Sub Sabuska. Sabuska, yeah, there's someone I, uh... There's other people that I've, uh, captured back home. All right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, very nice. Oh, Sabuska, mate, that guy, let me tell ya. Sabuska used to come down to my ranch all the bloody time, mate. Well, now, what, what would he do? Put his start... feet up on your table or something? No, mate, he'd start killing my animals. Jesus Christ! Yeah, so, you know, I'm no woman or whatever, I'm just like, you know, so Borska might stop trying <laughs> to kill my animals. Then he'll travel to other ranches and kill their livestock. Jesus, what? What's yeah. he get out of it? I don't know, mate, I think he's got a fascination with killing animals, but I think it's bloody weird if you ask me. That's sick, like, you know, I get it, people need to hunt them to eat and... And or defend themselves and that, but just doing it for for the fun of it without any use—that's a bit. That's yeah. a bit silly. Well, exactly. Then uh, all of us uh, ranch owners came together. And we uh, went down to the department and we're like, "Guys, we're sick of Sabuska, mate. We <laughs> need to uh, do something about him." So they put a uh, bounty on him, and then. One night I was, you know, sleeping in the ranch and then I uh, heard a noise, you know, the cows started, you know, mooing, going, moo, moo, and I was like, what the hell? It's, it's three in the morning, mate. The guy outside, I see uh, Sabuska with a lasso trying to grab the cow. I snuck up behind him, mate, and gave him the old bang. Oh, yeah, yeah, you've already warned him verbally. Yeah, mate, now, uh... See where that X is on Savuska's head? That's where the uh, bullet went through his head, mate. Jeez, you've got a good shot with that. Yeah, mate. Well, that's, that's the end of Savuska. Vuchka with Savuska, <laughs> as I like to say. Well, good riddance, you know, hurting animals like that. Yeah, mate. 
Oh, I mean, that's how, that's how I used to make my money back in the day. But, uh, yeah, that's the tale of old Sabuska, mate. Oh. Oh, good. Hope he's rotten in hell, you uh, slaughtering bastard. <laughs> we kind of fed him to the pigs, mate. <laughs> well, the pigs ain't good that night, I imagine. Well, yeah, like, he was killing animals, so I guess, you know, the right thing was to do is to give them back to the animals, you know? He died doing what he loved. Being ate and eaten by animals. <laughs> yeah. Ironic. Right. Or something. I can't right. remember the word. The bloody sabuska, mate. Yeah, there's a lot of sabuskas out there. There's plenty of them, mate, let me tell you that. Well, yeah, this is me camp. I mean, like I said, if you need anything, mate, just feel free to come here. Oh, thank you. Is there uh, anything else nearby? Or any other secrets of the island that are... Useful. Um, I can have a look if you want. Thank you, witchy. There are a few little places, but we'd have to go down. Well, that's fine. Uh, now you said the, the commander is it? He might be here soon. That'd be it'd be good to meet yeah, the, right. the boss and see what I can do for him. <laughs> also, witchy, I've been meaning to message you. I keep forgetting. Um, oh, the other. Night, the other week? I don't know how much this time has passed. When I was tuning into your stream or rated O, or whatever, you said you're doing. You said you're doing your. Uh, PhD? Or something? Did you say you're doing it on. Uh, Western cinema? And then, do you mean. Like. Western films like. Yeehaw! <laughs> Or like films made in, by the in the West. Oh, is an ad break going? Ah, oh, shit. Look at that! Oh yeah. Oops, oh, sir. Yeah, man. Trying to get me bearings in this uh, damn forest, mate. All right, come with me over here. All right. Oh! Why? Oh. Oh. Jesus! Oh. Ah! Oh, oh shit! Ah! Oh. Uh. Oh. You gotta watch out for those, mate. They're caught the bomb <laughs> and he's jumping rocks. That's <laughs> when I was coming back with Squiz Taylor and is it Miss Tyler? Yeah, the um, other day, I think, just about the same thing happened. But she was, she was not getting back up. Oh, wow. There's no, there's, there's no darkness out this way. Nope. Let me tell you, this thing here is called a, me uh, not a Mexican, a Guamanese jumping rock. You know, they just jump out in front of you, mate. Shit. All right, Mr. Bean. Oh, my head. Oh, what's this? Bit of Guama history for you, mate. I think this was some sort of, uh, I don't know what this was, to be honest. How old's this? Pretty old, mate. Pretty old. This country's been through lots of wars, mate. So uh, I assume this is one of the buildings that got hit. Jesus. It would have been a beautiful, bloody place too, mate. Yeah. You can tell that they would have put a lot of effort in it, but then I guess just not able to sustain it after taking some damage or something. Yeah, exactly, mate. Now it's just like. You see all the moss and the uh, vines all covered. Maybe this place still means something to the Guamanese, but I'm not too sure, mate. Yeah, it feels forgotten about. It's kind of kind of sad. Yeah, it is a bit. But I mean, it's sad to remind us of. Remind us of what was once was. Sorry, there's a bit of a dunk this there, mate. Hey. 
but um, it's still good to look at it, you know. Yeah, there is a bit of an outpost to the right of us as well. Is that one of the commanders? Um, I think the uh, army was using it. It must have been a house that someone uh, fought at or something. Just watch out for those jumping rocks, mate. <laughs> I'll try. It's so bloody dark here, mate. Oh! You are right, Frank! Yeah, Guamanese jumping hole. That was a pretty big jump! Yeah, it is actually. Ugh. Yep, Guamanese jumping hole just as much. Over there. Then we go down. Whoa! Oh. Yeah, we're not going down there. Ah! 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 Oh! Oh! George, you're right. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. We won't go down there. Jumping all. Jumping all. Oh my God. Easy there now, fella. This, uh, broken down house as a uh, bit of shelter for the uh, war. Oh, I see. You can see one of the old uh, soldiers' carbine repeaters. Oh, hey. Yep. There's a bed here, there's a little fire here. Right. Okay, good to know these spots are out here. Yeah, so if you ever get lost, you know, you can probably sleep here for a night or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, we uh, it's getting late though, we might head back. Yep.
think the commander should be here soon. Let's go take Nils to stables. My host says I didn't put bags on it. Well, uh, I forgot to get bags for my mule. I think that might be him just right here. Uh. Hola, senor. Commander. Hola. Uh, it's uh, Frank. George, what are you doing in there? Damn it, George! Get you some new bags and you go get stuck in there! Damn. Hello? You hollered? Mr. Bean, David Bean, this is the commander. There all are. Hello, sir, David Bean here. Ah, Mr. Uh, Bean, uh, yes. Uh, yes, sir, uh, I don't know if the others told you, but I washed up on the beach the other week, and, uh, but, uh, but they've been putting me to work. I've been, uh, picking flour and this and that and, and pulling my weight, sir. Picking, uh, flour, you say? Oh, uh, yeah, up the coast. Hey, do we grow flower? Uh, that'd be the special flower, sir. Oh, see, the special one. Yes, of course, the cocaina. What? What's the flower called? Cocaina. Co 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 yeah. Coca Cola? Co close. Coca Hyena? See, si, cocaina. Co oh, oh, fair. That's an issue. Um, it's catchy, I guess. It's pretty. It's got a bit of, bit of pop. Yeah. Yes, maybe we got talk inside. All this wind is going to ruin my feathers. <laughs> ruin my feathers. <laughs> I was just introducing Mr. Bean to the uh, to the locals. Ah, yes, of course. Nah, so you're picking the uh, the uh, what the gringos call them. Uh, the cocaine. Yep. Mr. Bean. Bean, yes, it's unfortunate. You know, the, the guys, they told me, uh, you know, washed up on the waters. Uh, you know, come, we save your life. So you come work for us now. That's okay, yes. I just, I having a lot of trouble re recollecting where I'm, where I'm from and... Ah, uh, yes, you're from Cuba. I am? I see. Yes, I know your parents very well. Oh, are they okay? They must be terribly worried. Oh, no, they're uh, dead, but, um... 
You know, they died a long time ago, but I knew your parents, you know. Oh, did they? Yeah, see. I just, I don't remember. I just, but just Cuba, it's just, it's got such a lovely, you know, thinking of Cuba just makes me think of nice greenery. Makes me feel calm. It's, uh, yes, exactly. Like uh, your mother is, uh, how do you say? What was that? How do you, uh, how do you say? How's it going, everyone? Ah, oh, it's good timing. Yeah, I was just uh, in the library reading a book. In my head. <laughs> oh, see. Yeah, I just met, uh, I mean, uh, Miss, Mr. Bean here is washed up on our shores. Was that right, Mr. Squiz? Um, yes, that is right. I think he washed up a few days ago. Oh, uh, were you the one that uh, found this guy? Um, I believe Tala did. She found him. Oh, that's great. Like you know, uh, I would hate if something happened to this guy. You know, I know him from a very long time ago. Really? Yes, his name was uh, Enrique. Wait, en Enrique. my name was Enrique back in S Cuba? I see. Yes, what, the, what Bean did you say your name is? Uh, David Bean. Oh, okay, David Bean. Very interesting. Heard of a David Bean. Yeah, me neither. But, well, I'm uh, glad you're home. You know, you're part of Cuba now. Well, technically, I took this island. We're not part of Cuba anymore, but, uh, you know, welcome home anyway. Oh, well, thank you, sir. You know, I just really appreciate that, you know, Mr. Taylor here and Tyler, they gave me work to do a, a bed downstairs and... I see. They gave you a gun, too. Oh, this one? Yeah, I see. Uh, no, sir, this was, uh, well, this was on me. Oh, let me bring it up for you. Yeah, it's, it's a nice-looking thing, but it's... Ah, oh, yes. Yeah, just, it was it was on me. It's all I really got. Yes, it looks nice, very nice. It's, uh, it looked like a special one, no? Yeah, I, yeah, it's... Uh, nice colors and... The color's pretty nice, I guess. Oh, you look like you're cleaning it pretty good. You know, oh. I wouldn't mind myself a gun like that. It looks very nice. Well, I'm sure. Is, it, is there a gun store around here or something? Mm, no, unfortunately not. I might have to take him to go get some. If he needs. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess. I mean, sure. You know, I might have to travel a long way to go get our gun from another country and bring it back home. Oh, my God, it's going to be a lot of work. Yeah, I can probably get one on my own. Oh, uh, I can imagine the long trips on the seas now. Oh, oh, hey, uh, I really, you know, it's all, you know, these things. I, you, you, you know, help some people, you know, you get them off the waters and. They don't even bring you a gift. Uh, yeah. I, I guess you could... You could borrow it, sir, you know, I... Oh, I see. Borrow, yes. I would love to borrow it. Yeah, I've been... You know, so grateful to... Have work and, and a place to yes, call. Yes, so, uh, let's walk and talk. Let me uh, show you around. Have, have you been... Uh, have, has your squeeze showed you around at all? Yeah, I gave him a bed downstairs uh, on the see, bottom floor. Oh, yes, of course. Oh, you've already, you've already got the bed. Okay, yes. Yeah, so uh, yeah, no it's kidding. a little stiff, but, you know, it's... Yes, that's all Could right. be worse. Yes, I know. It's nice and warm in here. When we yeah, first found him, he, uh, he fucking ate all the watermelon. Yeah, I ate all, yeah, okay. What do you want to drink, boys? Got the watermelon. What do you want to drink, Commander? Uh, I'll have uh, whatever you're surfing. Hey, Skip. Oh, maybe just water for me. So, Enrique, uh, you know your your yeah your hands and feet are very dirty. It looks like you're doing a very good job. Oh, I mean, I'm doing like I just I ran into a bit of. Trouble today, sir. It's just I I took one of the steamboats up the coast to pick some more of the uh, 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 cocaina, but uh, I I don't have access to any of the um, storage lockers or anything to put it somewhere. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, uh, see, I think, no, uh, you know, Squizzer uh, might have to uh, sort you out. You know, 
If the, I think he wanted to run it by you first, sir. Oh, yes. No, of course. You know, you pick the plants, you got to put it in the uh, container, you know, make sure it's nice and safe and locked up. Yeah, I, you know, because he said if I work hard enough, you know, I can start getting paid or get a house or a hut or something. I'm, ah, just, yes, I'm just happy to yes, do my part. Uh, paid, yes, of course. They, like the paychecks, they come, you know. We, I, I like to pay it, uh, you know, monthly. So, uh, you know, you get, you get paid a, a big jack. Oh, yeah. Is there, uh, tequila and easy water? Oh, th thank you, Frank. No problem. Let's see. <laughs> but yes, a house, of course, you know, but uh, you stay downstairs, you know, down in the cell, I mean, the bed downstairs, and, uh, you know, you stay there for a little while, you get comfortable, you know, with uh, Guama. You know, there's some people that are looking for you from Cuba. What? Ah, see, yeah, they very what? bad men. They're looking for you. They're, uh, you know, they, they, uh, they want to kill you. I think. What? what why do they want to kill me? Uh, not too sure. You know, uh, you must have done something back in Cuba. Ah, uh, where you're from, of course. Uh, hey, I'm sorry to be bringing that kind of heat here, sir. I... Oh, that's okay. I said, you know what? Fuck Cuba. I take out my cannon and I'll shoot them in the, you know, what do you say? Uh... Ace. See, face. <laughs> oh, I appreciate that. Yeah, I just, I'm just trying to do my part, find a, you know, make a new start. Yeah, yes, well, there's a perfect start here. You work hard, make sure you uh, pick lots of this uh, plants for us. Oh, of course, sir. See, I have no problems. Uh, yes, Taylor, he, he oh, showed this me that was actually a bit tight, you know. Damn, maybe next month. Yes, I'll pay you next month, not this month. Uh, this month's a little bit tight, you know. Uh, you know how it is. The oh, I'm sure. Yes. Yeah. See, now I told you, you know, the guys at the boat, I uh, told them, you know, make sure uh, this guy calls himself uh, Bean. You know, make sure he doesn't go, you know, up in the seas because, you know, the bad men are looking for him and blah, blah, blah. So if you try to get off the island, they're going to say no. Oh, that's, I, I'm not meaning to go racing away or anything. I just. Oh, of course not. I was just Open saying, water you know, is a bit scary. The open water, it's scary. You know, Cuba will try and kill you. So uh, you'll stay on the island where it's nice and safe and work on my plans, please. Oh, I'm happy just to go up and down the coast. Sir. Just open water. It's too soon for me. Yes, of course. Yeah, last time we took him on the boat up there, he was fucking shitting himself. Ah. <laughs> oh, that's all right. I, I took one of them up just earlier, and it just it was a bit more stable with my sea legs and my... You know, I'm the coconut captain. I got a bit of a thing for handling boats a bit steadier, no offense. Yes. Coconut captain, eh? I eat a lot of coconuts. I like coconuts. I like bananas. Yeah, we have lots of bananas too, you know. Yeah, Very wild, pick yeah. those, uh, you know, uh, the, uh, the the storage in the uh, in the in the back. Uh, th no, up top there, you know, in the uh, what do you call it? Uh, the, the food pantry, you know. It needs some food, you know, like bananas and all kinds of things. Feed the people. Oh, you know, I'm happy to... Whatever you want yes, me to drink. Of course. Yes, you should do that next time, you know. Don't worry about it. I've, I've been course. shown... That's very kind of you. Uh, I just... I gotta. I don't know where to pick the fruit. I've been shown the sugarcane fields, the coke hy hyena uh, fields up the coast, but I... That's all I've been shown so far, sir. I believe they grow wild on the, the beachfront towards the castle. From the yeah, you pretty much. You uh, walk around, you look for a banana tree, and then if they're ripe, you can pick them. Right, and then, and then Mr. Tazeroff, I get set up with somewhere to store the stuff I harvest? Oh, uh, yeah. We'll be able to sort some there. Oh, thanks. I, I, bought, I, I, I found myself a mule to help me work. Ah, yes, a mule. Ah, that's like, like a donkey. Your, uh, is that a donkey? Yeah, it's got a strong back. Carry lots like of uh, sugarcane like in that. Uh, one, Frank, yeah. 
What's that, sorry? The donkey, it's like uh, yours. Uh, I, uh, I got myself a new horse from Tara. I see. Yeah, he got a mule though, I had a donkey. I had, like the one the uh, locals have up there, up the front there. I think a mule's like a, a... I don't know how to explain it. It's like a bigger donkey, mixed with a horse. Yeah. So it's a bit bigger. <laughs> you could say he's got a drug mule. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. <laughs> I don't know, it's just sugar cane and cocaine. I don't, I don't get it. But... Oh, I just, I'm just thinking I'm funny. Don't worry. Ignore me. Are you making jokes again? I'm trying to. Ah, see. Well, what's on the uh, table tonight, uh, Mr. Squiz? Uh, I think some people would like to have a meeting tonight. Ah, from, a meeting, uh, yes. From America. Oh, from the America. Is this the yeah. bad people? Or, yeah, yeah, the bad. Or, yeah, you could say bad. Like a big group of people. Ah, see. Do you want to open ah, that? that's what they mean. <laughs> Not yeah. a bad uh, g uh, group. I can give Squiz a hand with that if you like. Yes, uh, we, yes, we need to discuss uh, some business with them, yeah. Yeah, I just, uh, I sent him a letter saying I'll, uh, I'll let you know when the hand is here. Uh, Commander, is there any more rags this rag is a bit dirty. There's something at the back. I can't say I've ever been on that side of the table before. That's okay. I've been looking for him all week. Yeah. I think we need to order some more. I'll grab some next time I go over overseas. What's he doing? <laughs> you know, maybe, uh, yeah, maybe, you know, if uh, next time, you know, when you're uh, around in the house, uh, maybe you need to bath a little bit. Uh, yeah. Enrique. Maybe get a haircut. Feet of dirty. Yeah, your feet are pretty uh, swollen and, you know, they're starting to pass. I'm just... That's disgusting. I just really like the, the feel of the earth on my feet while yes. I work, sir, but I... I... I really like my sense of smell. Is there... Do I just go down to the river? Uh, you're a Guam citizen, mate. Or is there, is there a particular bath you want me to use here? Maybe give him a scrub by the river. Yeah, I think uh, the river, you know, would be a good shout. Maybe for next time, just uh, you know, just uh, point in the right direction. Uh, I, I can do that, sir. Yeah, let me let me get him some bloody soap and one of the rags. I just got to think real deeply for a few seconds. <laughs> hmm. Mr. Uh, Mr. Enrique, put these in your pocket. Oh, thanks, Frank. You know, I'll scrub up real nice soon, I promise. No worries, mate. Uh, I'll be back and uh, I just remembered I left something downstairs. See you. Oh, whenever you're ready, Mr. Taylor, if there's anything you want to show me about them, where I can store the stuff I harvest, if that works for you. Uh, he's gone. Oh! Oh, wait. Wait, were you talking to me? Sorry. Oh, I was just, yeah, if, 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 if it works for you tonight, to, sh to show me where I can... Yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, store oh, things I harvest. <laughs> just... To store it and... Yeah, then I can keep working. Yeah. I, I just, I really don't want to fall behind. I can probably, uh, show them if you want, mate. Oh, uh, yeah, if you want to take them over to... Yep. Farm. Do you know the, um, code? Yeah, yeah, I do. All right. You want me to um, send those group of people a letter? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, that's I'll get, 
I'll get Mr. Enrique situated and I'll come back to you guys. Enrique. Okay, enjoy. Thank you, sir. Uh, if you can find a banana, I would, I would love one, you know. A banana? I see. A banana. Oh, I'll, I'll try and find one as soon as I... Oh, no. Yes, no. Find one. Oh, yes, sir. I... I'll be right on it. <laughs> All right, Mr. Enrique, jump on with me. I really got to find a banana as well, Frank. A banana? Yeah, Commander, you really want a banana. That's fine. I'll come back and get you in a minute. So he, at, at this place we're going to, this is where I'll bring, uh, like the sugar cane I pick and the and the yeah. cocaine and that. You can say that. You alright? Alright. Sorry about that. Oh, yep. Yeah. Alright, Mr. Enrique, now I'm gonna hand you a little bit, bit of paper. Alright. Alright. It's gonna have the uh it's gonna have the combination for this lock. Okay. Uh, one moment. And do I need to keep it a secret? You do, yes. Like a one hundred percent secret? Yes. From only... even my memories? Uh yeah, it's only a one time code though. And then All you right. be able to access every time. Okay, I will uh Yeah, got it. No problem. Let me just write write it down for you. Okay. All right. Well, give me one minute. One, two, Sorry about that, mate. No, you're right. So I, I opened it the once, but yeah. then I got to use the code again. Oh, you shouldn't have to. Oh. Um, oh that's all right. I don't mind if I have to. It's all right. I'll make do. All right. No worries. At least you can, as long as you can get into it, that's the main thing. Yeah. So all the sugar cane I pick and all that, I'll just bring it here and I'll keep that's, a tally. That's right. Perfect, mate. Oh, all thanks. Right. Thanks, Frank. So you got to get no, to this meeting. I do. Um, I gotta help out over there, but um, you know, welcome the new people to the island. Oh, well, I'll go get the banana. No, do you wanna uh, ride back to the main? Oh yeah. yeah. Thanks. So yeah, that's the that's the commander, mate. Oh, he seems pretty reasonable. Yeah. I just, I just, I don't remember him back in Cuba. I, I, Am I real? I wouldn't have picked my. Oh my god! I, I wouldn't have picked myself as Cuban, but you know, strange things have happened. And Enrique, I just don't remember. I don't know. It seems to know a bit more about you than me, mate. 
What? And what's what's this meeting tonight? Ah, uh, there's um. So a lot of people want to apply for citizenship here, mate. So uh. Oh, understandable. Every Sunday they come here to try and uh, see if they can apply. Oh, okay. Well, maybe I'll bring back enough bananas for everybody. That'd be great, mate. That'd be great. <laughs> That'd <laughs> be great, mate. Alright, let's take you back over here. That'd be, re be real nice of you, Thanks, Frank. I'll, I'll see you soon with some bananas. No problem. If you need anything, I'll be here, mate. Thank you. Thank you very much. No Quick, to the beach! Must find bananas! <laughs> I would love a banana. He's got the flag out front for the people that come to meet him. It's funny. Down on the beach by the castle. What do banana trees look like again? I swear, I swear this is like a banana tree. Oh! Because like, like those look like banana leaves. From my... memory. Aha! We're in business. Yes. Collect the bananas. <laughs> Very important work. I think that's all the the only banana trees. How many have I got? Seven. Okay, so that should be enough for. That's there's one for Frank. There's one for Taylor. There's one for the commander, and then that leaves four left over for any guests. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't think I can pick any more for now. Frank, I've got, I've got the, I've got the commander's banana. All right, perfect. Uh, I'll give it. I'll get you to go give it to him. Is, is he upstairs? He's upstairs. Okay. I got as quick as I could. Bakery. Uh, I sent him up. He's got something for the commander. Uh, I said, "Good luck with the bakery." Oh, sorry to interrupt, sir. Oh, I, I have your order. Uh, <laughs> yes. All right. Oh, thank you very Hello, much. Hello, sir. We'll leave you guys to it. Ah, right, say so. See you later. Any orders? Just Ah, I see yeah. you. There you are, sir. Ah, banana yes, has yes. orders, sir. A banana. I love a banana. Nah, yes. You're a little too close. I can... Uh, oh, so sorry, sir. Yes. Sorry. You, you smell. Okay. Sorry about that, sir. I hope it's to your lag. And I, I believe it's the ripest of the lot. I got it. I uh, see. Why don't you have a seat on the couch, Mr. Uh, uh, Bean? Yeah, oh, I think I see. Oh, thank you, sir. Talk to our friends. Good, mate. Uh, yeah, you can bring him out. Gentlemen. Actually, you might scare them. Can you go around the corner? Uh, around the corner, sir? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In there. In the there. Just okay, don't touch sir. Anything, okay. All right, sir. No, and don't look at me. It's oh, weird. sorry, sir. I'm going to see if he's got a banana, actually. Mr. Bean, you got any bananas? Oh, yeah, I've got one for everyone, sir. Um, I think my, uh, Hi. numbers on hey, the number 79. And, uh, who are oh, There you are, sir. Right. My name is, uh, Mad uh, Dog. Um, um, to my left is, uh, Gun. That is one, uh, uh, like the wind. fine banana. Oh, you yeah, ate that like banana pretty wind. quick. See. We're glad you really like my bananas. Uh, don't mind there are a couple oh of guys behind there, Squizzy uh, and uh, some guy, Mr. <laughs> Bean. I didn't chew it enough. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, he's just behind you, so don't get scared if he comes out. And uh, he smells a little bit too, the guy, but it's all right. <laughs> that is not a problem. Might need a shower. <laughs> yes, so uh, how, how can we help you? 
Uh, I've got a telegram, I believe it was from Squiz, saying that uh, you would like to meet us for some yes. type of business, I'm of guessing. Of course. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. So, uh, as you may have uh, witnessed in the in the front there, there's a... Uh, a big, uh, what do you call, uh, like a disappearance? What, uh, like a disappearing act? I don't know. Of uh, drugs. Ah, yes, yes. I See? Guess, uh, mm. Yeah, it's like, no, uh, cocaine is, uh, you know, left over there. So I've taken it uh, to uh, my people to start growing all the uh, cocaine right here. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Ah, okay. see. Now we have uh, worked quite a lot on these farms. Very big farms. We can produce quite a lot. Now, uh, right now, uh, you know, uh, when we find out the frontier is no longer in, uh, in production, you know, we've started and we're trying to figure out how, min how much we can do, uh, you know, on this uh, weekly basis. So, uh, depending on how much we get, uh, we have some supply for uh, you and your friends. Hmm, okay. Interesting. Uh, do you go on? Now, uh, you know, we uh, have a little drop. I'm not allowed in the frontier. Or I'm not allowed anywhere, really. Uh, Cuba has uh, kicked me out. I'm allowed on this island that I've taken. That's about it. So, uh, I have a little smuggling part. There'll be one location, uh, uh, secret location that will be yours. And we shall deliver your order every week to this location. Mm. You want to uh, have a cigarette? Ah, please do have a cigarette, yes. It's been a long journey. I appreciate it. All right. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, do we have a set location right now, or are we uh, waiting on this location? Well, right now it's all about, uh, you know, the production. So, you know, I have to whip some people, you know, make them bleed a little bit. Um, you know, uh, Give them the proper motivation. Give them the motivation to work harder. Mm, that sounds like a good idea. Yeah, see, so yeah, Tyler and Squeezy here, uh, they've got a lot of blood on their hands, but they're very good at what they do, and we seem to have a big production uh, happening right now. So, uh, depending on the numbers, you know, we can deliver uh, potentially uh, next uh, week sometime, you know, by the, by the weekend, let's say. Hmm. Okay. All right. So it should be a decent enough uh, order. I'll just let you know uh, the details a little bit later. Uh, there might be some prices and uh, some things like that a little bit uh, you may not be uh, familiar with. Mm, okay. So no set prices at this stage? Uh, not right now. You know, I'm going through uh, the frontier trying to figure out what you people were selling it for over there. And, uh, you know, it's, we got to make some money too, so. Of course, of course. That's, that sounds great. Uh, the county is drawing up a lot and I uh, feel like, yeah, my usual clients are fading away and going mad at the same time. It's sad to see. Yes, well, it'd be good to, uh, you know, fill the streets again with cocaine. And this time there will be more and more profit. Mm. This stuff we have is the best in the world. Mm. Take your word for it. I uh, see. You can sell this stuff for uh, quite a good penny. You know, you assume you get it from America. That's why it's so cheap over there, you know. But, uh, you know, you get it from where it's, uh, where it should come from, I guess. Yeah, that, it has a better climate to grow here. I yeah, uh... see. Mm. Perfect climate. Yes, oh, I'm liking the sound of this. Well, we only tend to deal in, uh, you know, cocaine, but, uh, you know, if uh, you and your friends, one day you like to come and uh, grow something, the island is uh, open to some people only. 
I was because our laws are very different. Uh, I only expect uh, either a payment or a very rare gift. Hmm. And uh, if so, what's this gift? What's this gift that you're uh, asking for? Uh, the gift. Well, that's up to you. You know. Just a rare gift. Ah, see. Hmm. Okay. Uh, the rarer, the better. I think I might have something in mind. Beautiful. Now, hey, what's the conditions for the growing? Well, that's the uh, that's really about it. You know, you you can either uh, you pay a, a price to come on the island and uh, grow as much as you like, or you can give me this gift and probably grow as much as you like as well. I do like rare gifts, so you know sometimes I'm extra happy. I give extra things. What the sound of that? Beautiful. <laughs> Is there anything uh, you need us to do in the meantime while we're waiting? Uh, not right now. No, it's uh, it's all just uh, you know, just got to get these uh, people working a bit harder. You know, the production line going, and I think we should be okay. Now, I do have to warn you, there is a, there is one sheriff on the island. There is? Ah, uh, Z, well, from your uh, frontier. Okay, all right. And should we be concerned about this? Yeah, uh, no, no, not at all. He's, uh, how do we say, he's, uh, he's a little bit stupid. Okay. Mm. Yes, I've got him picking uh, some, you know, sugar cane and some uh, bits and pieces down in the land. Uh, what's his name again? Squeeze uh, the. God damn it! What's the guy? Are you talking about Lou? Ah, see Lou, uh, Mister Lou Tennant. Ah, yes, I'm quite familiar with that fellow. Uh, yeah, he asked for some citizenship, and yeah, uh, yeah. So everybody on the island pretends to, you know. Seem uh, pretty straight around him, anyway. <laughs> so he comes and goes on a holiday. So you know, if you see him around, you, uh, it's uh, it's okay. <laughs> See his holiday. He doesn't know anything. <laughs> so what you're saying is, uh, we need to be sort of hidden away from him because I'm quite familiar with that. Yes. Place. See. Yes. yes <laughs> okay. I see. Yeah. Just let him know if we run into him that we're we're here enjoying a little holiday too. <laughs> That's right. He comes and he, you know, has a little other day, throws his little fishing rod around and, you know, he's... Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Dix. Right. That sounds good to us. <laughs> Is there anything else uh, you need from us, Commander? Uh, no, not at all. That's, uh, that's really all I was, uh, you know, going to offer you guys. Uh, you know, I can probably put an... Uh, but uh, depending how many killers you want, uh, I might be able to get something, you know, pretty soon. <laughs> mm, once we get Start crosses, get um... the uh, supply out. <laughs> yeah, see, like next Absolutely. week. Yes, Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Once we get prices, we'll, we'll give you the quantity that we, you know, see if we can uh, go from see, there. See. Well, depending how much they produce as well as to whether or not we can buy of as course. much as we want. Of course. Yes, yes. Oh, we'll uh, we'll have to start whipping these fellows into line. Now, Squiz and um, Taylor, I think it was. Ah, yes, uh, Squiz and Taylor. Yes. Don't worry, they're going to be working very hard. Beautiful. Good to hear. Because we like to uh, distribute a lot of cocaine. It'd be good to see again. Ah, very good. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, well, uh, we won't hold you any longer, as I'm sure you're a busy man. Yes, of course, a... yes. Beautiful. All right, well, we appreciate your time there, Commander, Squiz and Taylor. All right, and uh, I'm here, you know, every uh, Sunday on uh, this time, you know. So uh, if you ever need to meet, uh, this is where I will be. Not a problem at all. We'll see you around, Commander. Thank you for your time. Thank you for right. your time. See you. Oh, it's going back. Stay safe, guys. Is that smelly guy is still in the back? <laughs> Am I right to come out now? Yeah, you're right to go. Holy shit. <coughs> oh my.
Let me just grab me coat and hat. Oh! Sorry, say, say, you alright? You trip over the rug or oh something? Oh my... Oh, don't forget, I, I got you a banana too, Miss Tyler! Oh my goodness. Did you get that? Oh, okay. Oh, thank God. Alright. Now, um, Mr. Bean, is there uh, anything that you need at all? Is uh, is the you know, accommodation uh, kind to you? Uh, you know, the people here, they, everybody's very nice. Oh, yeah, it's, it's been fine so far, sir. I've got bedding sorted. Um, uh, I've been given soap and stuff by Frank. See? I can go down the river sometime and get cleaned up. Um... I've got access to the boat, so I can go up and get the uh, coke hyena, the sugar cane, know where the bananas are, so... Oh, you know where the bananas are? Great, great, great. Oh, uh, yeah, I think I've got everything I need, and i got a combination for one oh, of the huts beautiful. to store yes. stuff I harvest, so I think I'm good to get to keep working, sir. That's right, so you got the combination at the harvest uh, place. Yeah. Is that correct? I'll oh, see. Okay, that one. Yes. Is that the one, uh, the far one? Yeah, that's the On the far boat? One. Oh, okay, yeah, that one. So I'll just, all the sugar cane and the other stuff I harvest, I'll just put it straight in there and I'll keep a tally of it. I uh, see, yes, of course. Oh, I need to, uh, yeah, I wonder if this, uh, is there a few other guys? I think they're coming, but I really need to go and send the, Send the guy off to go and try and get me a gun that looks like that one, because, you know... Oh, like I said, sir, you can... Oh, can I still borrow it? Uh, yeah. Right. Well, I'll yeah, see. considering you've I done all this nice stuff, it. sure. Oh, yes. Gracias. Oh, oh. what a kind guy. He's letting me borrow his gun. Oh, look it's at just, this. I've only got some... I don't really have anything else to defend myself with, sir. What is this? Uh, what is what kind of gun is this? Uh, uh, Navy. Uh, a, 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 some kind of revolver, I guess. Is it this? Oh, it is this one. Sorry, I got too many guns in my uh, little belt here. I wasn't sure which one it was. Yeah, that, that that's it. The one with the, the nice, I think it's like an ivory ah, handle or something. Yes, this is the one. Very nice. You know, I've never really been a very good shot. Oh, I'm glad you like it, sir. Yes. I have to practice. Practice makes Let's perfect. see if I can shoot your hat off. Oh, I'll, I'll stand real still for you, sir. No, actually, I can't. I just did a paint job over there. Do you see the green walls? I do you like it? Yeah, it's a nice office, sir. Yeah, see. Yeah, just uh, recently wallpapered, so... I can't shoot it today. Oh. <laughs> well, I appreciate you lending me your gun. I really do need a gun to walk around the island with sometimes. It's a bit scary at night. Yeah, I often hear monkeys and stuff in the jungle. Ah, monkeys, yes. If you ever see the uh, the monkey with the yellow belly, uh, make sure you shoot him. I need him as a goat. All right, sir. See. Now, uh, is there anything you need, Mr. Bean? Uh, no, that's, that's all I've got to report, sir, if that's everything I need. All right. No, oh, you don't have any other guns or anything like that. Uh, oh, I've just to got to um, yourself. Oh, you got a knife. Uh, I've just got this knife, and oh, then I've good. got a. I was worried that I took your last weapon. And then away. I got this nice axe. Okay. Oh. Well, that might be good to chop some trees or something. So I, 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 I was very concerned that I took your uh, your gun, and you might need it. But at least you've got the knife. I, I guess I could stab the monkeys if they try to rip my face off, I, I guess. All right, see. Exactly, stab the monkey. All right, well, it, uh, is there anything else you need me for, sir? You, 
You want the rest of this bananas I picked for you, the rest of your guests? Uh, yeah, that would be great. Uh, yes, that, uh, that's very good. I like that. Yes. And, um, you know, you're bedding downstairs now, you know, during the day, people are going to come by. They're going to, uh, you know, lock the door for you to make sure you're safe from the Cubans. So uh, they're going to lock the door, make sure you're safe inside. And then when you need to come out in the morning to work, they'll unlock the door for you to leave. So uh, it, it's okay. You know, they're, they're making sure you're very safe. So the, and the people following you around, don't worry about them. They're just you know, protecting you as well. So the, the locked door and the people will make sure the, the monkeys and the Cubans don't get me? That's right. Exactly. Uh, I, I guess I get it. Oh, thank you, sir. Yes, you're welcome. And uh, welcome to Guama. It's uh, good to have you here. Thank you, boss. I'll, I'll, I, will, I work real hard, I promise. I see like we won't have a problem. Very good. Uh, you may go. Am I going... Do, do you want me to get back to work or do you want me to go to bed? Go for a shower. Oh, you want me to go get showered? You smell. And, and I get shoes on when I'm in the house? You know what? Some shoes uh, would, would kind of be nice, yes. Oh, I, well, I think I think some shoes would would might may help uh, us uh, survive another day in this office. All right, I'll, I'll make sure I wear my boots inside. I'll go, you know, I'll try and find some scissors, cut my hair and beard a little bit, and I'll I'll go have a bath in the uh, in the river. Maybe keep the you know what, keep the hair and the beard. I think it's fine. I like the look. I don't really like clean shaven people. It scares me. Okay, sir. No worries, sir. All right, I'll I'll See? do that. All right. Oh, well, thank you, sir. Um, I guess I'll go. I'll go have that bath. All right. <laughs> God damn, that man smells. I should probably tell you guys something about him. Uh, this guy uh, is not exact. His name is not Enrique. Believe it. <laughs> I had a feeling he that's the commander the commander is the um he's that damn uh he's like the the second in command for um what was his name Javier, he was the guy that was on like the um the bridge in that, like when Iron Jaw and Hughes went wanted to go um over into Mexico and that, and he's also the one when when they were like doing investigations about the beans and that, he's the one that they like kidnapped with masks, but he recognizes the guns. So he recognizes the revolver. I I had a feeling when he brought that up, I had a feeling that's where he was going with it. <laughs> so he's gonna tell him that it's actually Enrique is uh is George Hughes to the that's great. That's excellent. How the hell do I get down? Oh! It's gonna make things very interesting.
Aha, there's a waterfall. Excellent. Ne uh, the perfect place to bathe. Yeah, really good, eh, Mr. Phenom? Really good. That's I was hoping that this arc would go in that sort of direction. It should be good. I don't know how long it'll last, but um, I'm happy to... Really keen to see... Um, see where it goes. That's very funny. Uh... Yeah, lots of, um, lots of potential. How do you take the overalls? Which one's the overalls? It's not that one. 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 Oh, all right. The hair. Oh, god damn it. Um. Uh. No. 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 I don't know. Oh, Alright, I don't know what the, um... I don't know how you do that. Alright, well. Oh, I can't, like, get in it. All right. Ah, uh, bathes under waterfall with the soap. <laughs> oh dear. Uh concerning. All right, well there he's bathed. He's at his bar. <laughs> no gun now. <laughs> He's got my gun! So I gotta rely on the old hatchet. Now I'm also wondering if Tala recognized the, the hatchet. Um... <laughs> Got him! Well, 
Oops. Oh, I do have some pork. Alright, I'll go cook that up. And then his camp was over this way, and then it was like down that way. Oh, I might go cook it back at the house. Because it's not every day that the commander's here. Ah! Hey! Hey! Ah! The hell? Oh. Oh. Go on, on, Mr. Bean. I just had my share in the in the river. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my you smell wonderful. Oh, thank you, sir. I'm glad it's all right. And I, I found my boots. Oh, oh, oh that, found my boots, great. sir, and I oh, had a bath good. in the river. You smell uh, much better. Thank you, sir. Oh, great. Oh, uh, I killed a boar on the way. I was wondering, is there, a, is there a place to cook out back of the house? Oh, you killed think, the boar. Uh, I think if you go inside the, the, the mansion, there's uh, to the right that, that nice fire. See, you didn't you need a gun to... after all. Yeah, I just no. use the hatchet, sir. If I cook up some, oh, some pork, would y'all oh, like yeah. some for lunch? I lost my memory. Ah, uh, yeah, see. Oh, I've got a whole bar. I'll go cook it up, sir. Oh, well, I forget. I need to put the, uh, there's like in the pantry over there, there's like a cupboard. Uh, it's, it's a whole thing, but I'll, I'll make sure there's a, you know, the pantry opens for you. You know, if you ever want to store any food, that is. Okay, so but I'll be right to cook today. I uh, see, yeah. Cook okay. as much as. All right, want. so I'll, I'll go go get that ready. Will y'all be here when I get back? Uh, yes, I'll probably be at the pantry. I need to uh, run off uh, pretty soon. All right, so yes. I'll look for you here in the pantry. I'll, I'll go get that cooked up right away. I uh, see. Awesome. I forgot my heart all to cook.
Om nom nom. Cooking up the pig. It's, it's Power World. It's literally the same. Wait, mate. Last one. I've only got four bits, I think. I thought I had more. I thought I had six. Animal fat. No, just four. All right. Well, that'll have to do. If only there was like a carries plates stance. Yo, Druss. Going good, man. How was your weekend? Coral Hughes working hard out here. Yes. So, I've got four plates of grilled pork here. Hola, senora. Oh, oh that sounds uh, delicious. Grilled pork. Oh, I don't think it. Uh, can I introduce myself to. Oh, yes, of course. Uh, yes. Hello, sir. My name is Samuel Watts. I'm a, I'm a carpenter from uh, the Americas. Oh, nice to meet you. My name is just uh, uh, Enrique Bean. I work here on the farm. Very nice to meet you, sir. Hopefully, you're doing well. Oh, uh, yes, yes, sir. I've got uh, four plates of grilled pork here for, oh, for, for anyone the, uh, that would like some. Hard working guides over here. Oh, of course, sir. Oh, please. Would you like me to give that to you, Mr. Tang? You can hand it out. Please. Uh, there you are, sir. I'll, I'll get back to it. Uh, enjoy. Is the um the plants? Thank you. Well, it's going really well in in Guama at the moment. Um, uh, going really good in Guama at the moment. Um. Uh, cause we've got the commander up there. He's like doing business stuff and you got his lieutenants, Tyler and Squiz Taylor doing stuff. And then you got like, um, some others there. And then he's had like some criminal players come to have meetings with him and stuff. And... So this, of course, it's George Hughes here, but um, yeah, he's got amnesia, so he doesn't really remember what's going on. So he's he's working out here. He's actually helping, un unknowingly, um, help the drug trade. Oh. Whoops. Yeah, man, I thought I thought yeah, if I'm gonna have him come back, um, I I I figured I should do something um, funny and something that's a, a bit different. 
Oh. Hey Wagner, how you doing? Oh, so g that's getting it to wallow. <laughs> He's coming with the flag. What is wrong with the unicorn? Sorry, sir? The, the what? The unicorn, what is wrong with your unicorn? It's uh, falling or something. Oh, I was just trying to get it to stay put so I could put the uh, sugar cane in its bags, but it keeps wanting to roll around in the mud. Ah, see. You know, there's one way to fix that. Uh, train it better? Uh, no, you shoot it and get a new one. Oh, no, you'll be fine, so I've just got to discipline it. Okay. Well, uh, I'm going to put down, uh, you know, make unlock the uh, pantry for you. Just you know, next time you feel like putting food somewhere. Oh, thank you, sir. Now, I'll, yeah, I'll try and pick bananas when I can and, and, and whatnot. Man, no problem. You know, it's only a few hundred people to feed on the island. Oh, oh, that, that many, huh? Yeah, just, you know, just a few. Oh, well, I get. I'm already collecting sugar cane and cocaine. I, I, I guess I could fit in some fruit picking. You, you guess. Oh, I'll, I'll certainly try my best. I see. That, that's all we uh, really want here is for people to try their best. Yeah, 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 sir. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, 100 well, percent. Yes. And you know what, uh, while you're trying your best, uh, I'll make sure that tonight, uh, it's the doors are extra locked and, uh, um, uh, the rats, uh, less active in the night. I'll make sure that they, uh, we can chase them out a little bit, okay? Oh, well, that's very kind of you, sir. Yeah, yeah see, I heard, uh, smoking them out, uh, is pretty good. Yeah, sometimes they'll come and nibble my ear or something on my feet while I'm trying to sleep. But I'm, I mean, it's fine, you know, I, I, if I manage to grab one, I'll use it like an extra pillow. That's a great idea. Okay, I'm going to uh, leave now. Okay, so I'll just stop picking some sugar cane. All right. Damn it, George making me look silly in front of the boss. Don't eat the sugar cane, you meant to stand away from it so I can put the stuff in your bag. Stay right here, stop getting down in the dirt. Alright, stay, stay. Oh, let's pick some sugar cane. I wonder what they're talking about up there.
Mm. They're having a long chat about something. I'm trying to get closer without looking suspicious. I'm checking to see if there's any ripe sugar cane. You gotta get in close. Oh, what are you doing, boy? Holy I'm shit, sorry. boss! You scared the shit out of me! I'm sorry, Mr. Bean. I, I was just making sure you're on alert. Oh, so you're you on your ten toes. Oh my god! I'm just checking for the ripe sugar cane in the field, sir. So yeah. Oh my god. I think uh, the field across just in front of us. The next field might. They might be ripe. The one like over the there. Came. Yeah, it seems like some of the sugar cane doesn't like to ripen. Yeah, I haven't really found anything yet, sir. Yeah, I think it might just be the front field that might be getting watered at the moment. All right, I'll check another row, and then if nothing, I'll go back. You can go. You can go, and go hunting or go for a stroll, or something like that. Oh, see, I'll get a load of sugar cane done, and then I'll get on the next job and just keep going. All right. Sounds good to me. Nice, boss. <laughs> I didn't see him coming at all. Hmm. What is it being? Can't save a stream marker. I'll clip that later. That was funny. I want to hear what they're talking about, but I don't want to look suspicious. Old Enrique Bean is curious. That was funny, though. So you got Samuel Watson, someone with him, and they're here talking a lot of business. They're talking a lot of business. And of course, if people remember, the Pinkertons had a lot on Mr. Watts. Bain, have a good night, sir. Mr. Bain? Oh, oh you too, sir. Take, take care of yourself. Hope right. you had a Make sure wonderful you time in Guam. Take some regular breaks, all right? We don't want you passing out on us now. Oh, of Bain. course, sir. Staying hydrated. Thank you. All right. Uh, take care See now. Ya. Always have a good one. You too. Stuff that goes boom boom. Sounds like they're ma manufacturing. Dynamite as well. Yeah, I don't think this field has got through can it. It's the bean. There just seems to be no ripe sugar cane in this yeah. field. I think uh, I think you might have picked all the sugar cane in the other field. I have to wait a bit for the locals, oh. uh, Water, some of the plants, I guess. All right, well, I'll, I can go gather fruit or head up the coast yeah. and get some more coke hyena or something. <laughs> Tough to you, man. You let us know if you have any problems. Oh, uh, we'll do, boss. Be great. <sighs> 
<laughs> Is that the commander? Is that he's having like a cigar on the roof or something? <laughs> no. Oh, come on. Was that Lou? Was that Lieutenant? I think that might have been Lieutenant. Because Frank's got the gruffer voice. I love the way they're like, we have a chef living with us, but we just play it straight <laughs> whenever he's around us and he's on holiday. <laughs> That's so funny. He doesn't know what's really going on. <laughs> See, George, you're supposed to be better behaved so I can ride you to and from where we got to work. Better start learning how to be a better horse. You have the commander, we put a bullet in you. And get a new one. Do, 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 do. So I don't know how long the Guama... The, you know, the George Hughes Amnesia Guama arc is going to last. But as long as it does, I'll definitely... Uh, like, streams... Up, like, Di Diablo RP streams for me... At least... They'll at least happen on Sunday nights when... Prem's free to be the commander. Um, got to make the use of that. So I've got to be on... Definitely Sunday nights. Like tonight. And then I'll find other nights throughout the week. 
Yo, Battle Tank, it's going good. Just, you know, working hard in Guam. How you doing? I'm keen for more Power World. This afternoon, I hit about, I think I got to level 23 or 4 or something. <laughs> what are you talking to me? George, what are you doing? Alright, so when I call for you, you gotta come and I'll put the, the goods in your bags, okay? Damn. You damn horse. Jesus Christ. Alright. Back to the field. Oh. Oh, oh, Jesus. All right, back to the cocaine field. Oh, it's a bit of a bit of a trip up the coast. Oh. Shit. Oh, I'll turn around. Turn. Turn. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, you damn boat. <sighs> this is a nightmare. You don't want to miss the... Oh, that'll have to... 
Oh, you can reverse it. I gotta hold down the Katara button. Shit! Oh, it did battle? Oh, dude, nice. Oh, I'm glad to hear that, man. That was, yeah, that was really weird to hear that you... Well, your stuff disappeared, but I'm glad it's back. That's... That's good. That's excellent! Ah! Right in the nuts. In the nuts. That's so weird. Why, like, why can't you and Dill get in, Snuggles? It doesn't make any sense. It's very odd. Do, 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 let's go pick some drugs. Do, 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 do. Ba, 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 ba. Oh. Holy sh. Oh my god! That snake bit me! Oh. Oh! Oh god! Oh god! Oh! Was that poison snake? Was that venomous? Oh shit! What kind of snake are you? You savage! Ah! Take that! Jesus Christ! I think I'm all right. <laughs> just the end. Like, <laughs> bitten by a snake, it's poisonous, just dies in the forest alone. <laughs> oh, Snuggles, that's... That sucks. That's a pit viper, dude, you would? Oh my god. If anything like that happens again, I'm tempted to like go back to go back to the mansion and be like, someone you gotta suck the, the venom out. But at this time the commander might have logged off. And I'm not sure if anyone's back then it'd be a bit anticlimactic. If I went back, there was no one there, so I'm gonna skip it this time. But I definitely thought about it. I was just about ready to get back in that boat. Yeah, and I probably wouldn't be able to find you, but that's alright. I'll keep that idea banked. Guardian.
Do do hard at work. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. So relaxing. Oh. <laughs> All the way he's like playing it, like as if he's pretending that he like. Well, technically, he does know the character, but acting all like, yeah, I knew you back in Cuba or something. I knew your pants. It's great. It's very funny. Enrique. <laughs> Good stuff. Oh, that one didn't give me much time. <laughs> Yo, Jacko. Oh, it's funny as, isn't it? It's so funny. No, I was um really, really pleased with how tonight went. It's um like the whole interaction with the commander and that. It's such a funny dynamic. And um it's such a funny predicament for a lore character to be in. And then, like, seeing this side of the, um, you know, of the drug gameplay in the, on the server, like, seeing, seeing that side's fascinating. Pockets are full. That's all right. So, I think, just because I can't. I can't do cargo on the boat, but I can call my mule here, right? And then I can put the stuff in the bags. What? Oh, no. Oh, I can only do that. Okay, well, at least... I'm carrying a bit more than I would if I didn't wasn't doing this. Okay, so the donkey's full, so I can get a bit more of this, and then, and then I can flee it here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Genius. Genius. But I, it's um. But I just I don't know how long the Guama arc will go. I would like to see. Um, I'd like to see... So I've already figured that I need to be on doing Guama stuff every Sunday night when the commander's free. To be around for things to happen. Um, I just don't know how much else can happen on other nights. And I'm just... I don't want to waste everyone's time and just come on like a Tuesday night or whatever... And it's literally just me picking plants for for a couple of hours. So for 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 a while at least, the my RP streams might just be every Sunday night until this arc is concluded. Yeah, exactly, Snuggles. So, it might just be another few weeks. Every Sunday night, we check back in with Hughes. And it's sort of like play it off as if he's been working all week. And then Sunday is when... What? Is when stuff happens with everyone. Um, you know, you guys can act like... like the lieutenants can act like something happened throughout the week. Or the commander can act like I am through the week, or make something up. Whatever works to fit in with what you guys are doing.
And then that also gives me time to keep um, getting my voiceover stuff on the side up and running. Because then the end goal is, the plan is, eventually something like um, Lou or, or someone recognises Hughes. Like, they, they, they're they like, you know, this guy sounds like George Hughes or looks like or, or something like that. Something happens where word gets back where they're pretty sure that George Hughes is being held captive here in Guama. So then... The law department will put will put together something like a task force to come and um, extract him from the mansion, something like that. And then the idea is something like I don't know, maybe maybe George Hughes has to spend time with doctors or something, like getting his memory back or or something. I don't know. Um, and then maybe down the track he'll go back to being like a some sort of rank in the law department and doing going back to that um, but we don't know we can't say for sure what's going to happen it's all just ideas that'd be very cool hey however however it works battle tank but basically i've spoken to jesse james who's now one of the marshals of the law department and I've spoken to Prem who of course is the commander and he's one of the um the owners of the server I've spoken about how I'd like the Guama arc to you know last a last at least a bit and then and then basically I'll be like I'll give them the signal to be like okay now now someone can um you know, bump into Hughes and and have suspicions. So uh, there'll be a bit of communicating that. When I'm ready for that, I'll communicate that to Pram, to Jesse, and also on stream. So then anyone, any of the other players that are watching, if they happen to have a reason to come to Guam or whatever and bump into him, you know, it's it's whatever, whatever works. Just trying to create... Sort of like how we had the Mountain Man story arc last year. Just trying to create a um, an exciting narrative. That's right. And then if it's luring people to, to be like, maybe they need some inspiration or influence to have their characters come to Guama in the hopes that they'll bump into my character and then somehow an interaction leads to them, you know, learning about him. You know, that then, that then brings people to Guama that can then get caught and fined and God knows what. So, I'm hoping to... We're hoping to stir up some... Some exciting narratives. So, that's that's the... Um, that's the thought process. That's the general idea. Well, we don't know. Maybe George Hughes will never go back to normal. Maybe he'll never go back to normal. Maybe he'll be, um... Maybe he'll become a full-fledged criminal. We don't know. That's right. A doctor. And Sassy's a bit of an eccentric guy. He'd, uh see things that others don't so you never know we'll see what happens but i will um we'll keep playing it by ear so tonight's been good um we'll tonight's been good with the commander and that and we'll see what happens if i'm not through on throughout the week with diablo rp we'll see what happens next sunday night and we'll go from there because me being here, then that allows all the Guama players, if they need something to happen, if they want something to happen on their end, they've, they've then have that opportunity. Power has been, been really nice playing with everyone. Like running around, um, running around, catching all the, um, you know, just running, everyone running around doing their quests and stuff. And like running into each other and saying good day and, and sometimes teaming up and 
passing each other's base, and that's really cool. Uh, but apart from the RP, I'll be, I've still got some other uh, speed runs I'd like to do. Uh, some other games I've never played I'd like to play through. And stuff like that, so... It, it won't just be a stream Sunday night. I'll be on, I'll be live throughout the week sometime. Um, doing something. And I also still want to re start recording this YouTube series where I play uh, GTA uh, Vice City for the first time. I've never, I've never... I've never played it before, so I want to record a YouTube series and put it up on my uh, YouTube. Oh, Sunburn sucks, Tiger. Sunburn... You'd think at this age I'd be all over it, but I'm not. Like, you should have seen my nose was so red from the beach over Christmas. And then when your skin gets so red and then late, like days later, it's like it's peeling and that. Ugh. Sunscreen, don't forget your sunscreen. My god. Not good. And of course, I don't have to state the obvious, the other obvious reasons for why sunburn is bad. I'm sure. I'm sure most people catch what I'm putting down. Not good. Oh, what's the boat menu again? Man doesn't know how to con a boat. <laughs> ah! Wait, wait, where do you... Where is he? To me? Ah! I'm stuck under the... Under the dirt! Wait, what? Benny, you alright? <laughs> oh my, oh my goodness. Mr. Bean. Ah, uh, I can't move! Blah, 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 blah. Oh. oh! Oh my goodness. Oh. Uh, I'm getting out. Oh! Oh my goodness, you had me scared for a second. How the fuck did you manage to get wedged under the door? <laughs> oh, that wasn't my... Oh. Right, I'll see. We had just another load of the cocaine coming in. Oh. Huh. You know there's a um, storage at the farm. Why, at the field? Yeah, in the field. Is it the same so. code? Um, I presume so. Oh. Is it Miss Tyler? Yeah. Pretty oh, sure I thought I had to, uh... I thought I had to bring it back here and up to the, the huts. No, you can, uh... So when you're down there, you can just put it all in that one and then... We'll get some guys to bring it up on, on boats. 
Yeah. Oh, really? Get up to the processing. Yeah, it just makes it easier. Oh. Uh, you know, having to come back and forth like you do. Oh. Saves you a bit of hassle, too. Oh, uh, well, I'm glad I know that now. All right, well, I'll do this one load. I, I saw yeah, the no, storage, I thought, but I didn't have access to it. Uh, I thought, uh, I thought Frank would have showed you. No, he just gave me the combination for the, uh... Processing. The crate at the at the hut at the back of the house. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, I'll get this load up there, and then I'll remember that for next time. Alright. Oh hell, I can't believe that. I didn't think of that. What the hell? I'm losing it. He's been coming back. <laughs> Come on, George, you idiot. <laughs> oh. What are you doing? Come on. You silly horse. Howdy, Papa Rook. How you doing? You know, only every, only every wanking moment of my life, every day, you know, I'm practicing, I'm you know, in the car, I just yell out the window, yeah, oh, you know, get that practice in. Every day, mate, every day. So George Hughes still has amnesia. He washed up on the shore of Guama, and now he's um, he's now working as a farmer for uh, what I would describe as maybe like a, a drug lord who lives in that house.
Oh, that horse is alive again. Come on, George. You better get used to this. We gotta make this trip a few times. I swear these huts are around here somewhere. I think the next clearing. Oh wait, no. I think I see it over there, George. Wait. Okay. I need to hide this.
Ah, oh, now, George, you you're ride to ride back. You're gonna behave. <laughs> That's it. All right, you know you know what's expected of you now. Now, come on. Jesus Christ, you can't fit through there. Damn mule. Easy. Easy. Come on. See, there's the fields. Floating horse.
<laughs> the stiff walk. I think so I have access to the pantry now. Yeah. I don't think that's this. No! That's not it! Oh! Stop jumping on the... I think it's, I think it's a level down. This has got to be the pantry, right? I don't know what I'm looking for. Real beds in here. What am I hearing? Did I just hear glass break? Was that me? Or is there someone outside? You boss. Yeah, what's going on? Oh, I can hear. Some, uh, pork. I can hear something. I was why we... didn't know who it was. Have any water on you? Would you? I sure do. I'm sparing a few bottles. Very much. There you go, boss. Yeah, I'm just cooking like, I think it's 10 pieces of pork. Oh, delicious. That's good, yeah. Oh, I got a, I got a load of sugar cane and uh, the other plants uh, delivered. So I was probably going to hit the hay bales. Yeah, I might uh, do the same too. Oh, no worries. Well, have a good night. I'll see you around. Back to bed. <laughs> awesome. <laughs>